hello guys welcome back in the laravel video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can use the joins and joins on the multiple tables also so without wasting the time so let's get start okay so first of all i'm going to show you my dot env file and where you have to set up the database then you have to just change on the three things uh, uh, on the database name the username and the password that's it after that you can easily access your uh, DB with the Laravel alright so now I'm going to start with the code so first of all just see the database so what is that okay so I'm going to use my user database and here I have some some tables and we are going to apply the joins on this table so first of all just try to get the data normally DB and table and the table name so my table name in first let's say i'm going to uh, get the data from the users so users and then uh, just use the get function with that all right okay and just you can return from here simply and let's see the result all right so you can see the result here so i can just remove it for now and if you want to see the router then you can see the see here i'm going to i have uh, the controller name is the youtube this is here and this is the function name show here all right so now uh, let's try to get the join so for that i have to use the join function okay so just use a join function and in this function you can just write your table name on which you want to uh, uh, apply the join so here I have the second table okay so just see uh, we have the two data here one is the Anil and second is the Dylan alright so let's check here okay so th these are the two data now just I'm going to open the one more data table here which is the order alright so this is the order table and here have the two uh, records and the common thing is here the user ID belongs to this id of the user table all right so just uh, now to try to get it okay so i'm going to use uh going to apply the join on the order table table name is orders and the second parameter you can pass the id like say order do orders dot user id user underscore id all right and it's belong to the users dot id all right so i have to use the function like this okay now that's fine so now let's see what's the output for now so now you can see that we got the data okay so let's uh, select some particular data here so just you can use the select function here select functions let's say i want to use the orders dot star or you can put the order dot id or whatever you want so i'm just going to use the order dot star here all right so now you will see that we got the id here okay so after that let's say we want to apply the join on third table for that we can simply use here join and we can write the table name here once again so my third table name is here which is the let's open again the database my third table is the toys and here you can see that I have only one entry here and it's belong to the order ID order ID is order ID is 100 here and here is you can see that order ID is 100 all right so these two two tables are related here for that I'm going to use the joins on here so just write a table name joins comma simply the uh, ID let's say toys dot order id uh, it's a order underscore id 
let's check the column name that's it that's fine and the second thing is order underscore id so this is the order stable dot id okay let's check its order id and here it's belong to the order table with the id all right so now just check with that and you can write here toys dot star all right so now let's see now you can see that so let's say if you want to just print the name here then you can just write here order dot name all right oops something okay we just put the two dot by mistake all right that's fine so this is a basics about how you can use the joints and if you want to put the where condition and distinct whatever you want you can apply here so this is very simple tutorial and if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe this video please if you have any kind of suggestion then please ask me in the comment box also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video again